Uh, this one also you don't have. The statements refer to a mass population, but I think I went through this earlier. Yep, so it's okay. Now state the type of variation shown by human ABO blood groups. So there is a state the type, right? Codominance um, of allele A and B. And then there's also um, dominant allele A and B over recessive allele O. Okay, so complete the diagram who is heterozygous for blood group A and the mother with blood group AB. So heterozygous are I A I O. This is I A I B. And the gametes are I A and I O. This one is I A and I B. So I A will cross with an I A. This one I A cross with an I B. Next one, I, A, and I, O. Next one, I, B, and I, O. So, blood group B, A, A, B, and A. Alright. Uh, this one, I will not go through. Check your um, textbook. It's already there. Two causes also in the textbook. Now, state two differences in, in terms of numbers and types between the chromosome of person A and chromosome of person B. So, two differences. Let's look at the numbers first. Person A and person B chromosome number. Okay, so you look at chromosome number 21. Person A actually has a total of um, 47 chromosomes. But person B has 46 chromosomes. And the type of chromosome. So if you take a look at the sex chromosomes, so A is actually a female, okay, because it has XX chromosomes, and then B is a male because it has an XY chromosome. Okay, and what is the genetic condition? It is a Down syndrome. State the gender of person B. It's so already here. Okay. B male because it has XY chromosome. What type? In terms of number and, and type between the chromosomes. Numbers and types. Hmm. Yep, I think that's it. Okay, albinism is a condition in which individuals like the pigment melanin. It is caused by the recessive gene, uh, small a. The gene for pigmented skin can be represented by the big A. Okay, so the one with melanin is big A, right? So state the genotypes of the parents with pigmented skin. So it can be big A, big A, or big A, small a, heterozygous. State the expected ratio of children with pigmented skin to albino children. Expected ratio of children with pigmented skin to albino children is about... Is what when it's cross expected ratio of children with pigmented skin to albino children because 25% okay basically 3 is to 1 right if there is a heterozygous and heterozygous so it's 3 is to 1 so possible genotype for children with pigmented skin right yeah. a family oh okay a family consists of two parents with pigmented skin two children with pigmented skin and five albino children Expected ratio should be 3 is to 1, right? Because they are heterozygous. And heterozygous, if you were to draw the Barnett square again, big A, small a, big A, small a. Okay, the ratio of it being albino is only 1, right? So 3 is to 1. See the possible genital gen of the children with pigmented skin. It can be big A, big A, or big A, small a. He, next one, using B to represent the allele for brown eye color and small b to represent the allele for blue eye color, state with reasons the genotype for individuals 1 and 10. Okay, so individual 1 is brown eye, right? And brown eye is dominant, but now he has a children, he has a child that is blue eye. So it must be that both of them are heterozygous, right? So individual 1 is heterozygous. 
it gives rise to a blue eyed offspring which suggests that one is hetero zygous is one and two okay it's heterozygous okay individual tense so we have a small b small b and then this one might be a big b big b right because all of them are brown right so individual 10 should be a heterozygous as well as individual 4 is homozygous recessive um, individual 10 is heterozygous as it is brown eyed right so using number one to eleven for the individuals identify the males that are heterozygous for eye color males right so let's look at the box one so two is heterozygous four is not six is six heterozygous should be right because it needs to give the rise to a recessive one so it must have a small letter b and so six is uh, 11 is not uh, 8 8 should be heterozygous as well 10 is heterozygous as well see the type of variation shown by eye color continuous or discontinuous it's only blue or brown right so it's discontinue discontinuous okay the three alleles that control human blood group is a b and o okay it's actually i sorry okay this one okay this one done already you should be able to do this one done already you should be able to do this well complete the boxes on the diagram to show okay this one done okay i will go on to 7b so um figure 7.1 and 7.2 shows the family pedigree of two inherited conditions caused by mutation let's look at figure 7.1 first the condition shown in 7.1 is caused by the dominant allele d that means if it has big D, small d, or big D, big D, oh, sorry, big D, big D, that means it will show the dominant trait already. So all the unshaded one, right, is the unaffected, right, means they are confirmed recessive, homozygous recessive, right? And then uh, for, okay, and then uh, for this one, Okay, it's the opposite. This one is um, small p, small p because it's recessive. Okay, so if I were to work out the uh, others, let's do the blue one. Okay, because um, this one, the child is having a small d, small d. Can you see here? The child is having small d, small d. That means it must be heterozygous already so that this can cross with this. Right, so this one confirm uh, heterozygous, so cannot this one already. Okay, next one. So if this is um heterozygous, right? That means even if it's a uh, affected, means that it is also heterozygous. And then this one also will be heterozygous. So again, this one if it's heterozygous, this one is heterozygous as well. This one also gives rise to small d, small d, so must be heterozygous. This one also heterozygous. Again, small d, small d, heterozygous, heterozygous. Okay, so that's for 7.1. Now, let's look at 7.2. Now, 7.2, it has a recessive allele here, small p, small p. So, that means that this must be heterozygous because a child, one of the child has this. So, if one of the child has this, now this one can be either big p, big p. Okay, this three can either be big p, big p or big p, small p. So, let's work it out. Now, this one has small p, small p. So, must be heterozygous. Okay, as for this one, let's check out this one first because it gives rise to uh, something that is a uh, hetero, or something that can be either this or so. Right? You cannot count. This one must be heterozygous. Sorry, sorry. Must be heterozygous because one of the parents is um, recessive, right? So it's heterozygous. Yep, correct. So that means this one is. Heterozygous. Okay, these two 
don't know because nothing to show, right? Okay, so let's go on to the questions. Mm, yep. Okay, let's go on to the next question. Go back. 7.1. Individual 1 is small d, small d. Individual 2 is uh, heterozygous. So 3 is heterozygous. Uh, 4 is... Where is individual 5? This one, huh? So individual 5 is affected, right? So it must be small p, small p, right? State digital time individual 1 and individual 2. So Okay, so 1 is small d, small d, and then 2 is heterozygous. State the genotype are individual 3 and 4 zygous. So, p, p, small p, and then this one, small p, small p. If individual 5 is shown in figure 7.2, marries a male who is heterozygous from the condition, state the chance that they will have a child who is unaffected by the condition. So, in individual 5, marry, individual 5 is small p, small p, marry a heterozygous. So, you do your Punnett square again. And you will get the big P, small P, small P, small P, big P, small P, small P, small P. So what is the percentage? Uh, 50%, right? Because there's two heterozygous. Now, next one. State which one of the plants 1, 2, or 3 is heterozygous for flower. Okay, let me read now. Plant 1 and plant 2 had yellow flowers. Plant 3 had white flowers. Okay, confirm yellow flower is dominant, right? Confirm yellow flower is dominant. So the two crosses were performed by cross pollinating the plants. Okay, the table shows the crosses. So if one cross with three, all will be yellow. So that means one if cross with three, that means this one confirm yellow, yellow, big Y, big Y. Then yes, this is white, right? This is recessive, so small, small one. That's why all of them will be heterozygous. And if it is two, two is heterozygous, and then cross with small one, small one. That's why some is yellow, some is white. So state state which one of the plants is heterozygous for the flower color. So it's obviously plant two, right? Use the symbol A. Oh, you already is given the symbol, right? So say the genotype for one, one should be A, big A, big A, and then for the white flowers, plant three is small A, small A. Okay.